Hey guys, Jesse here with Jarus Knives. Just wanted to go over with you the compression lock model 75 that will be available for open bid this evening at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. The auction will run until Wednesday at 8 p.m. So that gives you three full days to check out the knife and participate in the auction if you'd like. Uh, I will post a link on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, USN, all the pretty much anywhere I have an account. And uh, post a link to give you uh, the auction page, and uh, you'll be able to get all the details on how to bid, all the specifications on the knife, and pretty much any general information pertinent to this event. So uh, please follow the link and check out uh, all that information, and um, I guess we can get in the knife now. So <laughs> I'm really, really excited about this knife. Um, for me, this is that knife that you come across at a show. And you pick it up and you kind of get shaky in the hands because <laughs> the knife make you ner makes you nervous. Um, th this knife does that for me. I've built a lot of knives in my short career so far. And uh, this is the first one that has made me nervous because <laughs> it's just so darn cool. I'm really excited about this knife. Um, definitely the nicest, most beautiful knife I've ever built. And uh, it's... I'm I'm absolutely thrilled with how this knife turned out. Hopefully my camera wants to uh agree with me here. Okay, there we go. This is Chad Nichols stainless lizard pattern Damascus. Hold on one second, guys. I'm gonna adjust my light. Getting a glare there. Chad Nichols stainless pattern or stainless lizard pattern Damascus. And uh how I actually finished my Damascus, if you were following the work in progress. Uh, you would see that the blade was actually taken to a complete mirror finish before I etched it. And uh, what that does is it gives us a very, very nice contrast. And uh, you can see we got that nice deep black, but we also have a very shiny and uh, reflective surface, surface in the non-etched parts. And that's due to the finish that I put on before the etch. Mirror polished edge, uh, as you've come familiar with. If you've been watching my knives the past couple years or so. Mirror polished hardware. The pivot you can see. Looking, I'm looking at you through the camera there. It's uh, nice and shiny for you. And uh, polished and blackened zirconium. This went actually through an eight stage buffing and reheating process. It took two hours just to get that color on there. You know, minus all the contouring, the finish work, and all that, just the color alone on this zirconium took me two hours of work. Um, it was not easy to get that to get that finish on there. Sorry about the camera work, guys. There we go. Nice tight seam on the carbon fiber and zirconium bolster there. You can see there's absolutely no gap. Really, really tight fit. Mirror polished carbon fiber. And this is the nicest carbon fiber that I've ever seen. Um, the, the material itself is just absolutely perfect. It's void free. And uh, what that means is, okay, camera's giving us some troubles here. There we go. What that means is there's no air pockets in the material. And when you sand a lot of carbon fiber, you'll start to get these little holes and voids. And you, if you look at carbon fiber, you'll see it. This stuff is actually completely free of that and I'm really impressed with the material so uh, very nice carbon fiber and it really really turned out well after I you know did all the sanding and the buff work on it jeweled liners as you can see it might be kind of hard to see because uh, I'm not the best cameraman so I'll try to get a good shot there we go there's a good shot jeweled liners mirror polished liners uh, around you know the spine um, and this is 6AL4V that the liner in the lock is liner detachment point with that dowel pin in the back spacer you can see the nice radius we have fully contoured handles top and bottom that gives us a nice comfy grip so here's an in hand view camera will focus in on that you get a nice full grip on this knife. And I wear a large size glove. 
give you a shot of the other side here. Camera wants to zoom in. There we go. Logoed pocket clip. Give you a shot of that mirror pivot and that zirconium again. Sorry for the smudges too. My hands are... <laughs> this knife just uh, makes me nervous. So I kind of got some, you know, fingerprint marks on that knife. And a shot of the other side of the Damascus. And um, this knife I have found to be ambidextrous. So what I've done is I've tapped and drilled both sides of the knife. So if you're left-handed, uh, you can definitely switch this knife over to left-hand carry. So uh, I'm terribly uncoordinated with my left hand, so please forgive me. Um, but this thing is pretty easy to operate with your left hand as well as your right. And uh, here's uh, the lock relief. So you can you can disengage it a number of ways. You can use your thumb. You can use your pointer finger. I'm sure you guys can get creative and find some other ways to close it as well. Um, give you a nice shot of that action here. Nice and smooth. And uh, let's get a shot of that detent. There we go, let's do it again. Okay. Here's a shot of the blade centering. Nice and perfectly centered in a top view. While we're up there, let's check out the spine. The Damascus really looks cool on the spine, I think. And a nice effective thumb ramp we have here. So you get a full grip when you're using it. I really don't know that I have too much else to say about this knife. I think I covered all the details. If you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, I'm absolutely <laughs> in love with this knife. Uh, if I didn't say it already, this is the prototype compression lock, model 75. And uh, I do intend on making more compression lock knives. I have not seen, outside of Spyderco, I've never seen another compression lock. I know that there has been at least one maker who's tried doing them, um, but I've never seen any pictures and I've, I've searched very hard trying to find other makers doing this lock, but I haven't found any. So uh, this might be, uh, maybe I can start a new trend up and get the compression lock more popular. Um, I'm certainly going to do my best to make uh, a bunch of them. So you have that to look forward to, and maybe some other makers will start picking it up too as they see, uh, you know, other people are doing it. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And like I said, I'll post up a link later uh, taking you to the auction site and give you all the details there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the knife. Please leave me some feedback. I love hearing it. So, um, with that, I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Enjoy it. Weather is great here. Hopefully it's great wherever you are in the world. Um, and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this video, take care of some photos and get working on the auction site. So you guys take care. Thanks for watching.